What is going on everybody? It is Devotch1654 here and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new video on some brand new information that was just posted on Reddit a little while ago about Blackout, the Battle Royale mode for Black Ops 4. Uh, but before we get into some detail, uh, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that bell notification. Let's see if we can get 25 likes on this video guys. Thank you for all the support, but without further ado, let's get on into some details about Blackout. Okay, so there was actually a post when it came to Reddit. Charlie Intel posted a little bit earlier today stating that, you know, this has not been confirmed by Activision yet, but it's pretty in detail on exactly what we're going to be looking at for Blackout. Uh, obviously, we all know it's going to be the largest map in Call of Duty history, um, but there's also been, you know, conversation about not only uh, Nuketown is uh, for sure going to be in it, but now they're saying that Nuketown is going to be similar to the Nuketown Zombies from Black Ops 2, which is actually very unique. So now they're going with, where well, they're still going with Nuketown, but they're going with the Zombies from Black Ops 2, which we all know that was a very cool map. It was unique, and it was something that was actually very different uh, that we haven't really seen before in Call of Duty. Uh, that's so that's a pretty cool thing that we actually know, you know, possibly what Nuketown could be and what it could look like The other thing too is that right now they they're still saying that they're aiming for 50 players for the battle royale mode Which in my opinion, I don't think that's gonna do very very well Especially because of the fact that you know, we're used to hundred players when it comes to Fortnite You know, they're trying currently they're trying to test right now for 64 players and they plan to increase it if it's possible, which is always a good sign, you know, but right now they can only do 50 and the game comes out in, you know, less than three months, I believe. So it's, you know, hopefully they're in the beta comes out, you know, in two. So I'm really hoping that they, you know, really work on this and make it a little bit better in terms of, you know, having more players, which is always a good thing. So on to the next one, which is the health. You're going to be getting 150 HP uh, replenishes via uh, scav scavengerable metal medical kits. If I can say that correctly again, scavengeable medical kits, uh, equipped uh, scavenge uh, armored around uh, that allows the players to take one extra shot, which is a good thing. And then armored piercing rounds will uh, counter the effect of armor. So they're now giving us, you know, different loot and abilities uh, for us to actually use in uh, Battle Royale to give us an advantage, you know, not with our health alone. Uh, the other thing, too, is you get limited inventory slots, which increase space via uh scavenge uh backpack so we are going to have a backpack we are we are going to have something similar to fortnite and PUBG as well too when it comes to the weapons they're actually the weapon is a, a loot uh rarity depends on the rarity of your weapon will have different attachments um so higher rarity equals better and more attachments obviously so now we're actually going to be getting like set classes that have a little bit more attachments than other which will then determine its uh, rarity in the game which is always a cool thing so another thing is uh consumable abilities such as multiplayer specialist abilities um will be in there as well too which is nice um they said that the grappling hook will be in there uh torches portable uh barricade will be in there you can only use one though uh, what's also nice is you can use uh, dogs in there, so the Nomad's dog will be in there as well too. You're also going to be able to equip such of uh, Recon RC, the RCXD uh, without explosives, I guess, and then uh, can be scavenged uh, and give players an advantage. So, and also people have been seeing sightings of the monkey bomb from zombies, which is freaking awesome. I think that's really, really cool, uh, but it doesn't have an explosive found in it yet. And uh, there's also a placeholder for a decoy uh, grenade. Um, so who knows, it might be something that will distract other players and allow you to take them out you know, from a different angle. Uh, that's kind of how it was with zombies. You'd throw that, all the zombies would go to it and it would give you kind of a break or it would distract them so you can kind of run away, which is always cool. The other thing is that there has been um, like the teasers with the land, air and sea vehicles. The only thing that's been seen right now that's been fully tested and functional is the ATV that we see and you'll see it here on the screen as well too that we see in not only the trailer that they gave us or kind of like the the talk through and walk through of it but also it's going to be giving us um, notification that there are going to be land and uh, air and sea vehicles 
but the only thing that's been functional and the only thing that they've really seen right now is the ATV. So that gets me a little bit worried, but with Call of Duty, they, you know, once they get the ball rolling, hopefully they'll be able to, you know, and have that for the DLC and it won't be, you know, glitchy or kind of, you know, it'll work at a good function. So the other thing too is that uh, the storm and gas mechanic is currently a simple visible wall that closes in on the map. So very similar to PUBG, very similar to what Fortnite has as well. So at least there we'll be able to have something similar, something that we know. Um, wall players simply uh, parachute into the map. So we are parachuting into the map like we would in those other games as well too. Um, talking of modics of spawning in uh, system similar to Call of Duty um, online are happening. So what that means is that uh, they could possibly just change it to you just spawn in wherever. It's a random spawn. So we don't know that i guess 100 percent for sure so that's all the information that we do have for the new blackout mode what's cool is that they're going to be rarity of loot which is what we need that's a, a must that's what makes fortnite you know fun to a certain degree uh then you're also going to be getting land air and sea vehicles which is confirmed and then we're also going to be getting uh the atv which is also confirmed in there, which I, a lot of us already knew that, but uh, just as just like a, a staple, we are going to see RXD cars, uh, RCXD cars, which is always cool. And then the one thing that um, that's really nice is that they're actually now going to be that we haven't seen yet or really heard of is the fact that you can either equipped armor or equipped rounds where you can pierce the armor. So that'll actually give us a player to player advantage over others so it really does depend on loot and where you land in the actual map or where you spawn in the map but what's nice is that uh we also know that it's gonna be a new town uh zombies black ops 2 so uh that these are all assumptions but a lot of times when it's posted on reddit and it's in this much of a detail it's normally pretty accurate there might be a few things that are off but the only thing that i wish to see in my opinion is it to go up from 50 players to at least 75 like i know it's probably gonna be hard in their type of engine the way that they make their game but i think we need a minimum of 75 players in this game i don't even think 64 is going to be enough i think that if they want to compete with PUBG, if they want to compete with something like fortnite they need to have at least 75 min minimum players in there for the battle royale but if you guys did enjoy this is all the information i have for you today that like button make sure you do hit that subscribe button and then make sure you guys do hit that bell notification uh so you know when i go live or when i upload so thank you guys so much for watching my name is delbotch1654 and i will catch you guys on the next video take care